Okay, so this is the uh, RB concept. I'm not sure if they call it concept or concepts. I've seen it referred to as both ways. But uh, yeah, this came out of eBay haul. It's a .21, I believe. C4. Uh, probably at 15 years old, maybe 15, 20 years old. But this was a super high-end engine at the time. Made in Italy. And uh, definitely uh, sort of like a race engine. But uh, obviously you can see it has a lot of issues with the RTV on the carburetor and obviously I don't think that's the original carburetor the uh, that's uh, what they call it, like the plastic carburetor it's a composite car carburetor um, what's funny is I, I when I first looked at this car I thought this originally was a Nova engine and that's what these things usually came standard with the Nova but it was deceiving because it had a Nova head but it's actually an RB15 so if you watch my other video that's actually a Nova 15 so I originally thought they were both the same engine, but closer look, that's actually an RB15. And they were kind of like competitors in the in this scale market here. This was an X15. But, so this is my second RB motor, I guess. So yeah, I want to take, do the same thing as like the other ones, you know, take them apart, clean them, possibly powder coat it. Like if the aluminum is good, you know, then I won't powder coat it. But like this one, the powder coat, or the aluminum was so bad that it was just, was so discolored that Inside of the powder coat, there would, there would have been no way to make it look good. So, um, all right, I'm gonna tear this down and uh, clean it up, ultrasonic clean it, take a look at it. Take a look at the ports, kind of see what's going on with this thing. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with the Nova Rossi and these screws, the flathead screws. God, I hate flathead screws. God, why not use like hex or something, man? All right, okay, so if one of you guys know why they still use flatheads, let me know. That just seems ridiculous to me. I don't know if they do them for added tradition or what. So easy to strip. All right. All right. It looks like it's the same uh, like Nova Rossi diameter. I'll measure it though with my calipers, but that means I can probably switch the heads. I, mean, I think uh, RB was actually the, they were cast in the. I thought I read somewhere that the RB engines were cast in the Nova Nova Rossi factory. All right. This one doesn't say made in Italy anywhere though. I can tell. I don't know if that's a serial number on there. Or some guys had some custom porting or something done to it. Alright, gotta get the carburetor off. Head. I'm gonna, I gotta get some of the head off. Since I don't even know if it's a turbo plug or non turbo. So non-turbo plug, a couple of shims it looks like, but yeah, it's a non-turbo plug. All right, compression felt good. So flat top piston. All right, I'm gonna take the back off, and um, we'll see inside, and we'll get the. Uh, we'll t I want to. I'm curious to see the. Oh, actually, I already can tell from here, but I'll take it off and show you. There's a lot of ports. So this is obviously a high RPM engine, I think, and it's like literally one of the worst things you can do for a nitro engine is to put uh, RTV in there, and as you can see, it's connected, some stuck to the connecting rod right there. Now, the problem with that is, see right there, is that what it can do is it can go up against the piston, and normally you would just chop it, but just a little bit of pressure on one side is going to, let's say if you got a piece of RTV right there on one side, it would actually make this side scuff. It would put pressure on the opposite side, you know, actually taking a little chunk out of the piston and the, also the uh, sleeve there too. So that's why you never want to use that stuff. Any sort of debris in there will do that, you know? So it's, the connecting rod looks pretty nice though. You can tell by the crankshaft, you know, the, the polishing. But yeah, never use RTV, man. What the hell? Okay, let me get this part. Let me get that sleeve out. Yeah, looks like a lot of porting done. Look at the amount of ports. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not even sure where to count the ports, but um, I mean, obviously this is not a stock engine. Well, it's not like a cheapo engine. Um, I do notice that some of the Nova Rossi stuff, when it's really ported, they'll have like little 
all the little lines that come down the sleeve to allow more. They'll transition, they'll create like a, like a slot and smooth it down to allow more airflow, a smoother transition. Yeah, I work on a lot of car engines, so carburetor modification, so I'm kind of familiar with this stuff a little bit. The wrist pin seems a little tight. I mean, this thing could just be gummed up, but that seems a little tight, so I'll have to work on that. Hopefully, when I throw in the ultrasonic cleaner, it will ungum it. Um, kind of a bum didn't have a turbo head, but I have to get the crankshaft out of here. Oh, got a sleeve on there. Yeah, don't use a metal hammer. It's plastic. Oh. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do this one handed. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, there's the crankshaft. Okay. Another thing too is what I like. Look at that. Look at the RTV bro, man. No, no, no. That's why you don't do that. Look at that. See? That right there? Besides what I told you on the piston, right? When it's like that, see that's an exact example of what I'm trying to explain. It's going to create tension on the opposite side of the, of the, of the, the bore. You know, it's going to create like a... It's hard to explain. I think you guys get it. I think ultrasonic cleaners are probably one of the best things ever invented. I get this back together. <clears throat> I wish I knew the thread size. Um, can't send these flatheads. Yeah, it's not three millimeter. So it's not M3 and it's not M4. So it's almost like an M3.5 or it's American. But I know this is a 2.5. Hmm. All right, there it is. The RB Concepts C4.21. I think it'll turn out pretty good. Yeah, I might go, I'm going to convert those to Allen. I can't stay in the flathead. I'm not even sure how many times I've said that already. But, alright. I can maybe touch up the gold on the top, maybe. But it'll be hard to get the match of color. I can never figure out if that's powder coat or anodized. But, I mean, it kind of looks like powder. I mean, it looks like paint more than anodizing. It's hard to say for sure. Just because it's sort of textured. So, alright. So, I'm not even sure what carburetor that is, but um, definitely, I don't think it's RB, but you never know. Alright, cool. So, we got my uh, engine stand that I designed here. If you want the engine stand, I'll probably put a link down below. But, getting a collection of engines going here. Um, pretty much only collecting either Japanese or Italian or American nitro engines, so. Alright, cool.